We had a crazy year in real estate in 2021. We're going to look over the numbers real quick, talk about where we were coming out of the year, this unprecedented uh, position that we are in right now, and what it's going to mean for 2022. Buckle up. Going to get crazy this year. This is Steve, real estate agent with the Malone Realty Group at EXP here in the Atlanta area. All right, so uh, we crunched some numbers uh, last night. I uh, wanted to give you an update today on uh, kind of where we were. We had a, a quick update coming out of uh, New Year's, uh, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. But now that we've let the dust kind of settle a little bit, we kind of crunched some numbers. We, we ran everything through the supercomputer, so to speak. So now we've got some hard numbers to look at as far as where are we right now and where are we going to be going forward. So when we talk about going forward, it really helps to know where were we last year. Last year's numbers were crazy. So I've got them all down right here. I'd commit all these to memory, but as I tell you all the time, I'm wicked old and I can't do that. So there you have it. So the year in review, the sales price, average sales price, FMLS, that's the, that's the Metroline area, the FMLS, $394,668. That's the average sales price in the FMLS in Atlanta last year. That is up 18.5% from the year before. So last year's prices were up on the average, 18.5%. Normally, it's somewhere in the 4 to 5% range. The last couple of years before that, it was 6.4 and 6.6%. So it had gone up 18.5%. Crazy. So if you've been sitting on the sidelines waiting, the house you were waiting for just went up 18.5% in the last year. Okay, so it's time to jump in the game because we're going to have more uh, appreciation this year. So that's the one thing. Second, price per square foot, $169 per square foot. What does that mean? Well, I think what it means is when you compare it year to year, that number is up 19.8% year over year. Last couple of years, it was 7.6% higher and then 2.3% higher, which wasn't that bad, but 19.8% higher price per square foot. So the prices, just like the sales price, way, 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 way up. Uh, in 2021 compared to the year before. The number of new listings last year, now take you back to 2020, okay? In 2020, Corona breaks out in February, March, everything shuts down for two months. Nobody wants to have anybody go in their house. Everybody's all freaked out. Finally, people are got all nervous about, oh, maybe I don't want to let people in the house, maybe a lot of people in the house, or, okay? And then so finally, uh, through the end of 2022, or 2020 rather, 2020, beginning of Corona, we had 131,000 and change listings added in 2020. Okay, so remember that number, 131 and change. Last year, which is supposed to be the big year where we came out of the pandemic, uh, and obviously we're still, you know, kind of quote in the pandemic or coming out of the pandemic, whatever you want to call it, how, whatever floats your boat. But things were better because we had the vaccines, we knew how to deal with it, so we're moving forward. You know, we're going to have more houses on the market, things are going to open up, we're going to really put a dent in this whole uh, lack of inventory thing. So we're going to add more listings. Things are going to happen. So remember, it was 131 and change. Last year, 132,000 and change. Only 500 more houses were added last year uh, compared to where we were in 2020. We did not add enough houses to the market to, to help out. New construction, though. New construction has helped. New construction is picking it up, and it's starting to pick up a little bit. But any new construction you call or talk to, I mean, is it the first time cement is poured, it's under contract. So, I mean, it's very hard to get your hands on new construction. So everything is still very, very, very tight. We're hoping that changes this year, but we'll see what happens. Number of closed sales. This is interesting. Last year was 111,000 sales. The year before was 106,000. The year before, 99,000. So we are closing more homes, even though we're not adding enough homes, okay, and then the prices are going crazy up. So for that reason, uh, when you look at the volume that closed last year, this is the crazy number. <clears throat> the volume, so you take all the houses that sold, at the prices they sold, how much volume did we do at F in the FMLS? $43.8 billion, okay, that's what we did last year. That's up 44% from 2020. So that is just crazy number right there because we didn't have, you know, that many more sales, but the sales prices were way up. Um, you know, it just, 
for whatever reason, that's a volume closed 43.8 billion, up 44% from where we were back in 2020. So what does that mean? In a nutshell, what that means is we didn't have a whole lot of houses and most of them sold and most of them sold for a whole bunch of money. Okay. Where are we right now coming out of all that? More unprecedented type numbers. And we talked about this in my last video on the market. At December 31st, going into January 1st, how many homes were officially on the market in the FMLS? 10,375, okay? Last year at the same time, it was 12,363. Before that, 2019 going to 2020, before Corona hit, and what we typically see is 22,874. So 22,874, and yeah, I think that was, it, the, the, the number of homes go up and down, and usually December is near the bottom, and that's what normally happened. And then COVID hit and just all the way down. So 22,874 was near the bottom where it's supposed to be. We're standing at 10, 10, 375. That's how many homes we have. So if you look back, uh, we have access to the FMLS at the last 10 years of data. It's the lowest number in those 10 years of data. Uh, you think about, well, where were we? I mean, the earliest I can think of that it would be even that close is maybe the early 2000s, maybe the late 90s, maybe. Uh, I don't know because, I mean, back in 07, 08, during the, the the housing crisis, you had all kinds of houses that were on the market. So, I mean, this is just, it's, it's indicative of the fact that this is the least that we've had in at least 20 to 25 years, at least. It may even be more than that. It may be unprecedented. The FMLS will probably give us an update on that number if they can. We only have the data that goes back about 10 years. But what does that all mean? What that all means is there's no houses on the market, okay? If you want to sell your house, you have no competition, okay? Now, that being said, if you want to sell your house, you still do have to kind of play play the game. You know, we can't just throw a sign out there and, uh, you know, wave your hand and get 30 offers, might be like that, depending on what county you're in. However, for the most part, we still got to do the job of pricing it right, um, getting the house looking the part. That way, you can maximize the equity. Because when you're talking about houses that have gone on 18, uh, gone up 18.5 percent in the last year, you want to squeeze every dime out of that when you sell your house. But this is a great time to go because it does look like finally we're going to have more houses coming on the market once we get into springtime. Um, you know, we're starting to see a lot more buyers come in. Uh, through our internet, uh, through our uh, in, into our system, and everybody that we're talking to is planning on doing this a lot more than we typically see. Uh, you know, a lot of family and friends that we're talking to are like that. So it's really looking like we should really blow wide open uh, as far as the market goes once we get into March. So if you want to sell, get the best deal possible, get you know maximum equity, and have the least amount of competition which is what we're thinking, you know, is going to be coming back. This is a time to strike sometime between now and middle part of February, get on the market before everybody else does. Okay. Because right now coming out of last year, again, what do the numbers say? Never said we did a whole bunch of closings. We didn't have a whole bunch of stuff out there. It sold for a whole bunch of money. And well, now we don't have hardly anything on the market. This is your time to strike before the market markedly changes because the last couple of days, interest rates have started to really go up. They have, um, they've gone up. We're getting close to that three and three quarters range right now. And then some products are getting close to four. Four is a magic number where I think things are really going to start changing. So this is the time to strike if you're looking to sell your house and get the best deal possible. How do you do that? Let's talk about it. 470 470-233-4409. 470-233-4409. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the market. Let's talk about the marketing for your home, what we can do for your home, get you top dollar for it. This is Steve Malone Realty Group at EXP in Atlanta. Hey, thanks for watching the video today. If you want more information on what's going on in the real estate market, take a look at some of these videos over here that we've posted. I'm keeping up with what, buying, selling, things that are going on in the North Georgia market. But if you want to keep up with everything that we post to our YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel down there, bottom right. That way you won't miss out on anything.